여러분 안녕하세요. 차례쌤입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 자켓들. 오랜만 있죠? 네, 저는 너무 바빠서 영사를 찍을 수 없어요. 죄송해요. I was busy and lazy <laughs> this past few months. <laughs> months, talaga. Dumaan. Oo, isang buwan yata ako walang upload. Kaya medyo hindi ako nakapag-upload. Chesamita. <laughs> Sorry na guys. Ito na nga po. And dito na po tayo. And we are now on our lesson 21. <laughs> 21. Okay, today, ano ba ang pag-uusapan natin? Ikaw ba ay madalas na kinukumpara sa iyo? <laughs> Mas matangkad siya sa iyo. Mas magaling siya sa iyo. Mas mabilis ito. Ba yung mga ganang mga bagay? So, these are called comparative sentences. Okay, so we'll, we will not uh, study this one para matuto ka mag-compare. <laughs> So, aral din natin ito ngayon kasi syempre may mga bagay tayo na dapat talaga i-compare, right? Kung halimbawa bibili ka, so magko-compare ka kung ano yung mas, ano yung mas okay, mas better, mas mura, di ba? So, kailangan din natin matutunan yung mga comparative sentences in Korean. And that's what we're going to study today. Pero bago yan, alam ko na miss niyo ang ating <coughs> Shalala! Okay, marami-rami ang ating shout-out for today. Yeah! Uh, and also, uh, nag-comment din sa pinost ko na ako yung magbabalik. <laughs> Kala mo talaga naman na. Ayan. Shout-out to Zell Loves Kim Taehyung. Wow. Adelia Don J. R. M. Maliari Ph. Clagen Cruz. Cho Han Official TV. Jamal Mujel. And Bay Malolo. Maloloy on. <laughs> okay. Shout out sa inyo guys. Hello mga Jaya. Ready ka na ba? Ng lesson? If you're ready, get your notebook now and let's start! At nagbabalik ang ating mahiwagang whiteboard na picture frame. <laughs> Eto na ulit siya. Okay, so bago ko ipakita pala sa inyo. So, I'll give you a word kung ano yung dapat natin pinakatandaan or pinakabida na word sa lesson na ito. Okay? And that is how to say more in Korean. And for sure, if matagal-tagal ka na nag-aaral ng Korean, and since nagkaroon na rin tayo ng lesson about, um, ayun, yeah, adverbs of degree. Yeah. So, nagkaroon tayo ng lesson about adverbs of degree. Yung mga to, many, also, more. Ganyan. So, inaral natin yon. Isa sa nabanggit natin doon is yung word na more. More. Which is yun yung aralin natin or pinakamain ingredient ng grammar natin today. And we will learn some adverbs or mga descriptive verb. Okay? The word for more in Korean, more is to. To. Ang ingin naman ng mga ibon. Yan, to. So, ano ba yung madalas na nilagyan natin ng to? So, ang madalas na nilagyan natin ng, ng word na to, which is adverb of degree, ay yung mga adjectives. Okay? But in Korean, di ba, ang tawag sa mga adjectives, they are also the descriptive verbs. So, ganun sila sa Korean. Yung mga adjective, verb pa din sa kanila. Pero it is a descriptive verb or use to describe a noun. Okay? Tingnan natin yung tatlo sa mga gagamitin natin na comparative ad adjectives ngayon. First, we have the word for to be fast. That is paruda. Paruda. Okay? Paruda. And then, to say to be faster. Okay? So, meron siya talagang word na to be since uh, to emphasize that it, this is still a verb. Descriptive verb nga na siya. 
Okay. Ngayon, to say to be faster, that is um, by adding the word to, to, and then the adverb itself or the descriptive verb itself, which is here, para na. And to, to say to be faster, nilagyan lang natin siya ng to sa unahan, and now we have to para da. Okay? To para da means to be faster. Okay? Next. Ito yung laging sinasabi sa akin ng ibang tao. <laughs> to be tall. So, dahil hindi ako tall. Ayan. Um, to be tall is kigakuda. Kigakuda. And to be taller, someone is taller than you. Ayan. That is to kigakuda. Again, to and then kigakuda. So, we just added the word to in front of kiga kuda. And last word we have is bisada. Bisada, which means to be expensive. And to say that something is more expensive, let's add the word more in front of expensive. And that is to bisada. To bisada. Okay? Now we now have faster taller more expensive okay kasi hindi naman lahat ng mga adjectives in english ay lalagyan mo lang ng er di ba some of them you need to add the word more instead of adding er okay now if we are comparing two things isang bagay kumpara dun sa isang pang bagay hindi lang enough yung we just know how to say something is faster stronger better yung mga may er version ng comparative words but kailangan din natin siyang dagdagan ng word na than tama faster than taller than um expense more expensive than so we need to add the word than there to compare na itong bagay nito ay mas higit kesa dito sa isa now how are we going to say that in korean so kanina natutunan natin yung word na more which is to now let's learn how to say than in korean okay po ta po da Okay. So, oh, oh, familiar ka dito, right? Because ang verb, what is the verb for to see? To see is po da, right? Po da. So, kaya nga present tense niya ay poayo. And then, meron pa isang meaning ang po da. That is, when you want to try something, aoyo po da, like he po da, try doing it. Um, mogo po da, try eating this one. Diba? So, ito, this is a different poda here. Nagkakaubusan na po ba sila ng Korean word? Kaya nire-recycle na lang nila yung ibang word. Yun ang hindi natin alam. <laughs> Pero this one, hindi, yung mga dalawang meaning na yun, hindi ito. Hindi yun yung meaning ng boda na nandito sa sentence natin ngayon. Okay? Now, here, boda, here is, a, um, acts like a particle. So, para siyang particle. And when we say particle, well, we have studied a lot of particles before. So, particle, ito yung ina-attach sa noun or kung saan siya dapat i-attach. Diba? So, here, kailangan natin siyang i-attach sa kung saan mo siya kinocompare. So, hindi siya um, independent word. Hindi siya pwede naka-separate na word. Lagi lang siyang naka-attach. Okay? So, to say than something is something something boda. Boda. Okay? Or, so, it means than or compared to. So, tingnan natin yung example para mas malina. We have here, kita na na po sa boda to palayo. One more time. Kita na. Kita na po sa boda to palayo. Kita train. Kitanen. So, our topic here is train. Ang bida ng sentence ay train. Diba? Ibig sabihin, mas higit ang train kumpara sa ibang bagay. So, ang pinaka-topic natin dito is the kita, which is train. Kaya siya yung merong topic marking particle. Kitanen. And then, posu boda. Zana box. So, here, ang ginamit natin na noun is pos which is, kino-compare natin yung kita, yung train, sa bus. 
possible. And then the verb, lagi nasa dulo, yung descriptive verb or adjective, we have to palayo. To palayo. Faster. Okay? So, kita na possible to palayo. Kita na possible to palayo. So, whatever you are comparing to, kung ano yung pinaka-main idea ng sentence mo, yun yung nasa unahan. So, kung ano yung mas something, yun yung nasa unahang part. And then, whatever you are comparing to, kung ano yung kasama ng word na than, than, yun yung lalagyan mo ng poda. Than a bus. Bus, poda. Than me. Na, poda, or uh, to, poda. Okay? And then, what else? Um, uh, than an apple. Sagwa, poda. So, kung ano yung kinocompare mo na than, than, basta laging kasama ng than, yung poda. Okay? Than a bus, than a truck, than an airplane. So, kung an, kahit ano pa man yan, basta siya yung tinutukoy mo na than, yun yung lalagyan mo ng word na or ng particle na boda. And then, kung ano yung pinaka, pinaka, pinaka main topic mo, kung ano yung best dun sa, kinukumpara mo dun sa dalawa, siya yung nasa laging unahan ng sentence together with the topic marking particle. But it is not always the topic marking particle. For example, you are referring to a person, so you can say, cello ga, cello, cello, cello. So, si cello ay, um, ano ba? Uh, than, than her sister. Wow, baka nanonood yung kapatid ko. <laughs> Yo dong seng bo da. Yo dong seng bo da. Than her sister. To ye po yo. Hmm, huwag ako mantra. <laughs> to ye po yo. So, sabihin, since descriptive verb yung ginamit natin, ba ye po da, to be pretty, So, cello si, cello si ka. Ah, uh, dong seng, yo dong seng bo da. To yep po yo. Gusto mo yarn? <laughs> Yan mo may load ka sa akin mamaya. <laughs> Ayan. So, that's how we say those things. Basta kung ano yung kinakumpare mo, then, and then, po da. But if you want to emphasize something na ito talaga yung pinakamas, then use the topic marker. So, if you're still confused when to use topic marker or subject marker, pwede mong balikan, balikan yung lesson natin na topic and subject and object marking particles para mas malinaw sa'yo yung paggamit nila ng dalawa. Nang tatlong yun pala. Okay, so let's run through our examples. So, here are our sample sentences using Buddha and to. To mean more than. First sentence we have. 우리 여동생은 저보다 더 키가 커요. Again, 우리 우리 여동생은 저보다 더 키가 더 키가 커요. Okay, counting um trivia type. So here in the sentence, 우리 우리 여동생. Ang meaning natin dito is my younger sister. But we all know that uri means our, right? Not my. But in Korean, to say my, if especially kung mga family members, they prefer using uri to mean my than te, toe, or uh, um, my. Nga yung my. So, bakit ganun? Hindi ko din alam. Char. So, that's their custom. So, yun yung nakasanayan na nila pag family members. Instead of saying my mother, neo ma, teo ma, they prefer using uri o ma. Uri o ma. Then, my dad. So, instead of saying te apa, ne apa, they say uri apa. Uri apa. So here, that's why I used uri yodong sing. 
우리 여동생은 my younger sister. The next, 저보다, 저보다, than me, than me. 더 키가 커요, 더 키가 커요. Taller. Okay? So the meaning of the sentence is, my younger sister is taller than me. True to life. <laughs> yeah. So 우리 여동생은 uh, 저보다 더 키가 커요. My younger sister is taller than me. Next sentence we have. 이 가방은 이 가방은 그 가방보다 더 비싸요. Again, 이 가방은 그 가방보다 더 비싸요. This bag, 이 가방은 than that bag. 저 가방보다 and then 더 비싸요, more expensive. So meaning the sentence I, this bag is more expensive than that bag. Okay? And hindi pa dun nagtatapos ang lahat. But wait, there's more. Okay, here's the catch. It's not always boda plus to. So in English, di ba, pag sinabi natin, pag nagko-compare tayo, kailangan yung next um, na, next na adjective natin dun is naka-comparative form. Like, dun sa sentence natin na um, uh, a train is faster than a bus. Tama? Nung sinabi natin than a bus, dapat yung, yung word na fast, okay, doon dapat siya ay naka-ER form. Faster. Faster. Diba? Pero in Korean, it's okay not to be a char. It's okay kahit hindi na natin gawing ER form yung ating descriptive verb. Okay? So, yung word na to, it's okay to omit this one. So, if you are only emphasizing na talagang sobrang taller... Uh, better, ganun, you can add to, but you can actually drop that one, and with the word poda, it is already enough to um, identify na ang sentence mo ay comparative. So, tingnan natin mga, ex mga examples na ginamit natin kanina. Kitanan, poso boda, palayo. Kitanan, poso boda, palayo. Kanina, what we used is kitanan, poso boda, to palayo. Okay, then sentence number two, 우리 동생은, 우리 여동생은 저보다 키가 커요. 키가 커요. Here, we didn't add the word 더 키가 커요. And then number three, 이 가방은 그 가방보다 비싸요. 비싸요. So now we already know that this is more expensive because of the word 보다. Alright? Okay, okay, okay. So, sa part ng video natin, bago tayo matapos, lagi tayo magkakaroon ng activity time. So, this activity time is where I will provide a word, some words, tapos kayo naman yung gagawa ng sarili ninyong sentence. Of course, para hindi ka lang nakinig sa video na to, pero alam mo na rin kung paano gamitin yung mga words natin. Okay? So, I will give you the list of words and then comment down below sa comment section yung sagot mo para ma-practice mo siya agad. Magamit mo siya agad-agad. Okay? Alright, so here's our activity time. So, ang gagawin mo ay make a comparative sentence uh, for each of the given adjectives or descriptive verb. So, first, we have chakada. Chakada. Chakada means to be nice. As a person, okay? Sa person lang siya ginagamit. Hindi siya for nice things. But, chakata is used for person, okay? And then, pangalawa, we have oryopta. Oryopta. To be difficult. And then, third, yepuda. Yepuda. To be pretty. <laughs> okay, so, um, try comparing something using the following adjectives. So, to say, nicer, a more difficult, prettier. So, try 
to make sentences using this one and then comment it down sa comment section natin below. Okay, once again, this is Chinese And if this vlog has been helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all for today, guys. Anyong ikasayo. Bye-bye.